Okay, so this is going to be my review for chapter uh, 1031 for One Piece, and this is going to be obviously be a spoiler review. So if you have not read the chapter yet, read the chapter, yeah, then come back. So we start with uh, Nico Robin and Bro uh, Brooke uh, running from uh, the two CP0 agent. And we don't know yet what ability that these two CP0 agents have. Obviously, they have armament hockey. And this kind of thing, you have to have all of these hockey things if you're going to be a high ranking member in the world government. Uh, you have to have, but well, we don't know what kind of um, devil fruit ability, if they have any devil fruit ability, what they have. My speculation for one of them, the guy with the white mask and the white hat, my speculation for his devil fruit that he have a clone devil fruit, that he can clone himself. Um, and think about that, that is a very, very good ability to have if you are in secret agent, if you can clone yourself. That means you can be on different places um, at the same time. And also that helps, it helps in a fight. If you can clone yourself, you can attack from different uh, direction and this kind of thing. So that is just, that is just my speculation for the guy with the white masks ability. The other guy with the more um the more tribal esque mask like like almost like the mask it looks like almost like a Zelda mask in the Zelda in Ocarina of Time I think the game is with the the, the strange guy with the, the when Zelda uh, when sorry when Link be some kind of wooden uh, creature um, and the uh, Ocarina of Time I think this, this Zelda game is called. Uh, anyway, so they, uh, and then before they reach uh, Nico, Robin and Brooke, is come the big uh, fire blob, uh, uh, crocs into them, um, and they they get burned, uh, but obviously they don't, they get, I don't, they don't really get any damage of that, and then we, then Nico, Robin is, uh, uh, run away, obviously, because they are very, very dangerous, and the CP0 are, super 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 age, uh, ancient uh, are agent for the world government they are if the uh, best description description of them is if james bond is uh, a is a plus 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 in tier tier list the cp0 are uh, s tier they are much much they are high they are higher than james bond in ancient they are the best of the best ancient um for the world government uh, and they are hunting obviously nico robin because nico robin is the only one left um of her the, her group that can read the ancient poneglyph and obviously the world government want to silence them because of that they know if they if they tell the world the secret, the world government obviously will fall, because the world government have done horrific things. And obviously, I don't, I just don't, I don't just talk about what happened to Law's uh, uh, family and his town. I mean, really, really horrible things that the world government are are backing, uh, really pay for because they want the resources, the minerals, and other things, and specifically. They're very, very, very high up. Uh, the the five elders and him, the guy that is the highest of the highest of the world government, obviously have lots of do like they shine, they kidnap lots of children. They do uh, experiment on children. They do especially experiments on giant children on giants. And for example, that is the same same with example with Big Mom. When she was tricked of um, uh, Miss Caramel, uh, and Miss Caramel was obviously a secret agent, but not at that in not that same rank as CP Zero. Um, so they are specifically sent there to uh, capture Nico Robin or uh, kill her. So the, um, so they are they don't care about the other Straw Hat pirate. They care about Nico Robin because she is a real threat to the image. Of the world government, if that's if 
like this is the image so yeah and then obviously we they uh, uh, we see a poo and Excel Drake uh, um, see these two uh, CPC agent and the guy I don't remember if they say the name because I sometimes I have very hard time to remember name of specific characters because some of the name a bit yeah oh, anyways so uh, Apu and Axel Drake start the uh, obviously uh, Apu say lots of nonsense uh, says lots of things and obviously about Dolphamingo and that Dolphamingo was the world government's dog and obviously that he was the guy and obviously we know already that that Doflamingo tricks the world government already because Doflamingo, Doflamingo was a double agent and Doflamingo works for uh, Yonko Kaido the same time as he worked for the world government and obviously then he worked for uh, um, Big Mom and because of the... Uh, he, he was like... A, yeah, anyways. So obviously the one of the CPCR agents said tells uh, Apu to be quiet and then obviously the, this is the cool thing is then we see a very quick attack the world gov one of the uh, CP0 agent the white guy with a white mask uh, punch Apu in the face with arming piercing uh, hockey and obviously it looks like if you it look if you, you have to if you look at the first page of that fight it looks like he knocks out uh, Apu with one punch, obviously this normal a normal person will die of this kind of punch in the face because it's like this the punch is with like a red orange flame around the, his knuckles, um, and then obviously we see later uh, uh, the next chapter we see that Pooh do some kind of counter attacks. It's interesting because the explosion that hits the guy with the white mask um, comes after Apu is knocked out. So it's very quickly a one page, a one punch. Later, a one punch, one uh, page explosion in the guy with the white mask. And then, so then the fight starts with these two guys. So we, I really hope that we will see this uh, fight in the next chapter, chapter one thousand thirty-two. And uh, it's gonna be very cool to see what kind of abilities these two uh, CP zero agents have. We only we know one only one we know two of them the the uh, but I don't I only remember one name of that it is Rob Lucci and uh, we know that he have the Nico Nick, uh, he have the leopard devil fruit he can transform to a big leopard and hybrid leopard and so on and so on um yeah but we don't know these two characters ability uh, devil fruit ability if they have anybody so we, then we come to the the good the good part the really really good part um and obviously marco is is with marco is marco and the other one the two member ex members from the white Bear pirate runs uh, 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 for run away the uh, beside big mom but we, we come to the good part now so we the good part is sorrow and king's fight and the, the, i think the coolest part of that fight is when King he draws is he in his mask and then he shoot like a like almost like a uh uh like a wind explosive uh, he shoot an attack um I don't really how know how to really works it looks like he it almost like he draw like a very long a bow like this kind of style and he just shoot away some kind of thing and like something explode so that is really really cool when. We see the fight with uh, so so this is uh, Soros excuse me this is Soros first air battle he have against a person in in the manga and uh, maybe in the manga is the first opponent he fight that can fly um, that is so when Soros do his like tornado sword spin uh, the guy the king, the conflagration, he blocks the wind uh, spin attack with his wings, um, and then obviously he goes down and fight, and also Soro really have to fight. We see this really cool scene in the in, in one really cool page when we see Soro and King the wildfire. Uh, knocks uh, the clock this two swords together and we see the king's really like big saber sword like uh, like a really f 
the thick uh, katana blade, um, comparable to Soros um, free sword. Like we really see like the, the the size of King the Wildfire, and he's like like almost like a I don't like almost like a Nazi black uh, leather clothing like almost like a Nazi, and then they talk about fish people. And King says some kind of uh, yeah, very discriminatory things. Like and we see the fight, the fight. I mean, this is probably the best part in the whole chapter. That the, the part with King and Soros fight. I just really see like really like the darkness of this fight. So we really see that Soros have to really do really what he have learned so far because like. If King, if Mihawk is the best swordsman, uh, that is confirmed to be the best swordsman in the world, my obviously that is just my speculation. My speculation is that the the of the official best swordsman that is have relinquished his title, not because he have lost the battle, lost any sword battle, but because he just don't just relinquish that title is one of the guy of the world government the guy the monk like the monk japanese officer uh, uh that with the bald guy with the long dutchy sword he, i think he is the real the best swordsman in the world but because of that he working for the world government uh he's the high up he have ring of that title so the titles is now in the hand of mihawk um but it's going very interesting very interesting to hear who who is the guy that have teach me Hawk his sword style? My speculation is the the bold guy for the world government. So uh, so then so this is Soros first. I, I think personally I think this is Soros first real, really really start to the, to be the great swordsman. Like first he have to be, defeat King, then he have to defeat he have to, uh, Shiryu of the Rain. And then after that, maybe somebody will then Mihawk, and after me uh, Mihawk, then we're gonna uh, his final sword battle probably will be against the guy or uh, the, the 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 one of the five elders, the guy with the sword of the five elder. For, I think it's sort of his final sword battle. Um. Um. Yeah, uh, the chapter was really really good. Uh, my favorite part is with. Uh, Apu, my two favorite parties with Axel Drake and Apu, and number the part number one, my absolute favorite is obviously with King and Soros fight. And there was the, yeah, the chapter was amazing. I really like the, how the style of that fight. I really look forward to the next chapter. Um, and yeah, and I think this month or next month we're gonna see uh, the next chapter for reckoning of ragnarok that's going to be also very interesting to see the battle between shishong d and hades um yeah eh, that is everything i really want to say okay bye